Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of fish farming. Are you ready to explore the potential of this booming business? Great! Let's get started! Fish farming, also known as aquaculture, is the practice of cultivating fish in controlled environments such as tanks, ponds, or even house roofs. It has gained tremendous popularity in recent years due to its numerous benefits and high profit potential. So, how can you start your own fish farming venture? Let's walk through the steps. Step 1. Research and Planning Before you take the plunge, it's crucial to educate yourself about the different aspects of fish farming. This includes learning about various fish species, understanding their habitat requirements, and studying different farming techniques. Once you've gained the necessary knowledge, it's time to decide which fish species you want to rear. Choose a species that suits your climate, market demand, and personal preferences. Popular choices include tilapia, catfish, salmon, and trout. Step 2. Setting up. Now that you have a clear direction, it's time to create the infrastructure for your fish farm. If you have access to a suitable piece of land, constructing ponds or tanks is a viable option. However, if space is limited, you can consider innovative alternatives, like utilizing the roof of your house to house a large water tank. Remember, the design and size of your farm will depend on the scale of your operation and the number of fish you plan to rear. Ensure that you have proper filtration systems, aeration equipment, and a reliable water source to maintain optimal conditions for your fish. Step 3. Sourcing Fish Breed Now that your farm is ready, it's time to acquire fish fry or fingerlings to stock your farm. You can source them from local fish hatcheries, specialized fish breeders, or government fisheries departments. Ensure that the breed you choose is healthy, disease-resistant, and suitable for your farming conditions. It's essential to maintain the right stocking density to prevent overcrowding and ensure the healthy growth of your fish. Regularly monitor water quality parameters such as temperature, pH levels, and oxygen levels to keep your fish in a stress-free environment. Step 4. Growth and Maintenance Fish farming requires dedicated care and attention. Feed your fish a nutritionally balanced diet to promote growth and prevent deficiencies. You can use commercial fish feed or explore the possibility of formulating your own feed with the guidance of aquaculture experts. Regularly monitor the growth of your fish and watch out for signs of disease or stress. Quick intervention and appropriate treatment can help you maintain a healthy stock. Remember to follow proper biosecurity measures to prevent the spread of diseases between different fish populations. Step 5. Marketing and Selling Once your fish reach market size, it's time to harvest and sell them. Explore local markets, restaurants, and grocery stores to find potential buyers. Additionally, you can set up your own direct-to-consumer sales channels through online platforms and social media. Building strong relationships with customers and delivering a high-quality product will help you establish a reputation and attract more buyers. And there you have it, an overview of the exciting world of fish farming. With the right knowledge, planning, and dedication, you can turn this venture into a profitable and sustainable business. So, why wait? Dive into the world of fish farming and unleash its tremendous potential. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Until next time, happy fish farming!